Hey guys, this is Matthias. So I've noticed on the public Planetside 2 forum and on Reddit that uh, there are some NC players that are concerned about the air hammer of the Reaver and uh, that it is uh, not as effective as the Banshee and the PPA when it comes to its anti-infantry role. Now, um, I'm not really sure about the statistics here, but you gotta keep in mind that uh, the air hammer is a lot more versatile than the other two. It is far more effective against armor and air than the Banshee and the Light PPA. And, uh, but that's not really what this video is about. This video is about its anti-infantry role. So I am playing on one of my Smurfs here that I've created in order to be able to compare a little bit the difference it makes when I play with my real name and uh, yeah, when I'm not. And even though I already have an NC uh, which is on Miller and uh, the Reeve there is far more upgraded, I decided to make this video with my Smurf because uh, when I do this, uh, I will only take about like 5% of the damage that I would if I played with any of my three main characters. So as you probably can tell, my air armor isn't all that upgraded, I only have the level 2 magazine size. Now here in the next engagement, I should have shot a little bit more to the left there, close to the biodome wall, but uh, yeah, I was able to pick a few guys off at least. And uh, you will see quite a number of similar mistakes throughout this video. So I'm trying to be as stealthy as possible, I'm uh, trying to rely on sneak attacks, hit and run, which is basically the same way I play when I use the Banshee. But as I've mentioned before, when you're using the Light PPA of the Vanus Sovereignty, you have to use a completely different approach. This uh, playstyle doesn't fit the at the ground site at all. A lot of people might be surprised over the fact that I'm choosing uh, or that I've chosen the fire suppression over the flares, but the fact is I have mostly been flying air to air with uh, this character and I don't even have the flares upgraded, so I really don't have any choice at the moment. And also when I use my search at other things rather than the flares. Also here I'm starting to get those freeze lags. They always happen in Planet 2. Really annoying, but yeah, what can you do? Now the thing is that I haven't really used the air hammer enough to be able to judge whether or not it is as good, better or worse than the PPA or the Banshee. But I can tell you for sure that it is much better against enemy ESFs. And yes, you can kill the Reavers and Sights with the Banshee, and yes, you can kill the Reavers and Mosses with the Light PPA, but uh, the Light PPA and the Banshee really doesn't come close to the Air Hammer in its multi-role. Now there's a big difference in your approach when you're shooting into groups of people and in situations when you have to switch from one target to another. Now part of that is of course being able to quickly enough get your aim on the target but you also have to make sure that you can do that without crashing into anything and you also have to be able to do it fast enough so that you can get out quickly enough 
Not to get killed. Now another thing that NC players uh, point out a lot with their Empire specific weapons is the lack of range. Now since a lot of these weapons are shotguns, it uh, kind of goes without saying that the range is a bit of a problem. And uh, it's not only the uh, RM that you see in this video or the Max uh, weapons, you also have the canister and the jackhammer and whatnot, I'm, I'm sure I've missed something. But the uh, NS weapons that I've used from the NC side, which is the Mattock, and the air hammer, um, they have surprised me over the range that they are actually effective at. Now the PPA is of course the one that has the best range, but when it comes to the Banshee and the air hammer, I think it's actually fairly close. I think there's a lot of people that underestimate the range the air hammer actually has. So, as I'm sitting here making this video, I'm uh, trying to predict the future a little bit. And uh, I can foresee that there's going to be a lot of people that will rage at this video. They will point out how bad I am, how lame, how lame I am, how uh, I should have done this and that in this and that situation, and how air is overpowered, how I suck, how it takes zero skills to do what I do in this video, and um, yeah stuff like that. Maybe the word elitism will be thrown around a couple of times as well. Now there's not much I can do about these kinds of reactions. You, you are of course free to think and say whatever you want about my videos. That's uh, yeah, that's up to you. Um, I do, I do however want to say something to my fellow friends on the Cobalt server. Would you please, please, please shoot me about the same amount when I fly around with my Banshee with my Mati Ace character as you see in this video, because I'm, I'm working on my Banshee and Rocket Podyrexium. Please. Please. I mean, just imagine how happy I would be if you let me do this for, let's say, half an hour a day? No? Anyway, I have covered that ground in the past a bit, and uh, the things that are related, such as uh, comparing the three ESFs and some such, I will put a couple of uh, links to those videos in the description. Aside from that, I am looking forward to your feedback, so I will say thank you all for watching, and bye for now.